Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at creating a flat fill layer for when you're coloring your line art. There are a ton of ways to do this. This is the fastest that I have found in my preferred method. First, you will need some clean line art to work from. Now create a new layer under the line art for the flat color to sit on. For projects with a large number of layers, I recommend naming your layer now, but I don't always name mine. Select the line art layer and click on the magic selection tool. Click on the canvas somewhere outside the artwork. You should see a selection pop up that is just the empty space. Hold down shift and click with the magic selection tool on any areas that are not part of the artwork. This selection is now everything around our artwork. So we need to invert the selection to get just inside the artwork selected. You can invert using this button, or you can click select and then invert selected area. Now that we have our artwork selected, we can move down to the color layer and fill it in. I usually choose the largest volume of color in the piece or the skin tone as my initial color fill. To fill, you can use the fill bucket tool located here. You can also paint in the selected area with a large brush. Here I'm using the marker pen that's included with Clip Studio. It's similar to the hard round brush from Photoshop. The quickest method is the shape tool. Select the tool, then click and drag over the full area to get a solid fill. Alternatively, there is a user-generated tool from the Clip Studio Assets page called Close and Fill by K96. This is the method I use the most and it saves me quite a bit of time. There's a direct link to this free tool in the description below. To install, log into the Clip Studio Manager and go to the Assets tab. Search for the Content ID or for K96. The tool icon looks like this. Click Download and then open Clip Studio Paint. Click on Window and then Materials. Now click on Materials All Materials. This will open a panel with your material options. Click on Download and you will see this tool icon. Click on the tool menu where you would like to install the subtool. I chose the Fill Subtool menu. On the Material panel, navigate to the button at the bottom that looks like a clipboard. When you mouse over the icon, it should say, Paste selected material to canvas, register setting material to palette of preset. To use this tool, set your line art layer or line art folder as a reference layer by clicking on the lighthouse icon. Now make a new layer under your line art and use your new tool to lasso select around the whole piece. It will fill everything within the line art using your lines as reference. You can use this tool to make the rest of your flat fills as well by making new layers and lassoing around just the areas you want colored. Now that you have your flat fills, you can use clipped layers to keep the additional colors within the flats. Create a new layer and click the overlapping square button, clip to layer below. When you paint on this layer, it will only show the paint inside the flat color area. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, you can comment below or come chat on my Twitch stream linked in the description. If you found this video interesting or useful, make sure to subscribe here on YouTube for more quick tips and tutorials. Thank you.